Greetings everyone, it is Monday, November the 13th. The time is 1.19 p.m. and the temperature is a very mild 10 degrees Celsius and I'm here at the corner of Lower Spadina Avenue and Queens Key West. And I just got off the 510 Spadina streetcar not too long ago. I think around like 15 minutes ago. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day on a Monday uh, afternoon. And for this one, I'm going to be uh, making my way east along Queens Key from Lower Spadina and I'll be ending my track at Love Park. So that should, so that should take around, I would say, 18 minutes or maybe 20 minutes, but we'll see. So there's up north along Spadina and there is the Gardner Expressway just to the, just to the north of here. And that was the 510 Spadina streetcar that I just captured, number 4407. That will make its way north all the way to uh, Spadina Station. So here's one last look at Queens Key West and Lower Spadina Avenue. And continuing west on Queens Key will take you all the way to Bathurst Street. So I'll be crossing Queens Key West and I'll be walking uh, east on the south side because I, I do want to check out the uh, Harborfront Center along the way before before we end our track at Love Park. So so far I, I've only captured one streetcar, which was the 510 Splash streetcar, but I don't see any streetcars running. Or maybe, or maybe it's not even rush hour yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the case. So I'm still waiting for the walk sign. And just to the south of here is Lake Ontario, and also the Center Island, which is way off in the in the distance. And just way over there is the Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. Alright, so this is east on the south side of Queens Key West. And I'll be making my way to Love Park. And there goes the 500 Humber Farms, number 4432. That'll make its way west all the way to the CNE. Oh, and just on the right is the HTO Park West. And I've been to this park many times, especially during the summertime.
So once again, here's the view of Lake Ontario. And to the south of here is the Center Island, the Toronto Center Island. And, and I've been there uh, back in the year of 2013. That was during, during the summer of 2013. And I've been there with, with my family and my uh, cousins too. So that was fun times. So what a great, great view. And along this stretch of Queen's Key West, they have like wide sidewalks. And on the left is the bike lanes. So on the left there's bike lanes and there's streetcar tracks and the street itself. And coming up on the right is the HTO Park, a city within the park. Oh, and that was the eastbound 519 Harbor Front that will make its way all the way to uh, Union Station. Oops. And there is the CN Tower, the Canadian National Tower. And there is the Roger Center. And here's the amazing view of the skyline in the financial, dist financial district, in the downtown core. So we got lots of clear blue skies, and I don't see any clouds. That's good. I mean, I, I do see some clouds just way over on that side, but they're like, but there's like a few clouds, but mostly clear blue skies. Oh, and there is the 510 Sprana 4575 that's coming from Union Station, and it'll make its way all the way to Spadina Station via west on Queensky and north up along Spadina. All right, let's continue. Wow, the weather feels like 15 degrees because it's not, it's not even that chilly. Yesterday, uh, it was very 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 chilly it was like around like four degrees celsius but today seems much better than yesterday so again on the right is the hto park maybe next time i'll come back here and record a video exploring around the hto park I was going to do it today, but I'll save that for next time. So once again, here is HTO. HTO Park. Here's a view of the lake one last time. Lake Ontario. So throughout this walk, I'll be checking out Harbor Front Center, which is which is coming up. 
and that will be on the right. So the street uh, begin. So so the street that begins uh, south of Queensky is Robertson Crescent, and the other street that begins north of Queensky is Reece Street. And there's a north up along Reece Street towards Brevener Boulevard. Oh, and there is Tim Hortons. And there is the Mama's Pizza since 1957. Oh, and there is Shoeless Joe's. I actually been to this restaurant. Well, well, not at this place, but there's one in the city of Vaughan, and I've been there a few months ago with my other friends, and their food is delicious. I, I give it 10 out of 10. Oh, and we're back at Robertson Crescent. There is the CN Tower, once again, just peeking out between those two buildings. Oh, two doggies. Look at that. And there goes the 510 Spadina number 4459. And the 510 Spadina again, the eastbound streetcar. Wow, two streetcars in a row. How cool is that? Good timing. Oh, and here's the view of the CN Tower once again. That's, that's peeking out again between those two buildings, the one on the left and the one on the right. Oh, there's the 5 Harbor front, 4515. All right, here's Harbor front. I'll be checking out Harbor front just to, just to see what it's like on a Monday afternoon while I'm still here. And speaking of Harborfront, this is where the Tiergon Festival took place back in the summer during mid-July. And back then it was very, very, very crowded with, with people. So this area is where the stage uh, took place. So, it's, so the stage was like right around this side, right near the grass. And this is where we will be uh, sitting down and watching the, uh, the performance. So there is the actual Harbor Front Center. And here we got lots of boats. 
along the way. And here's the CN Tower. Oh, and there is the Obeshin uh, boat because it's good because it says Obeshin. Hopefully, I I pronounce that word that word right. It's Obeshin. Obeshin, Toronto. I don't think I I've ever been inside that boat. But as you can see, we go just like dining tables, or not quite. <laughs> And there is the Empire Sandy Boat. Yeah, and this boat, the Empire Sandy Boat, actually reminds me of the movie called Pocahontas because because they have one of these boats in in that movie. I remember they were riding one one of these boats, and I've also seen Pocahontas when I was a kid. It's one of the cartoon movies. That I've seen many times. So that's the Empire Sandy boat. And there is the Obeshin boat once again. I should one day ride on one of these Empire Sandy boats. I can definitely become a pirate like err like that. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe in the near future. In, in the near future. Well, I can tell the harbourfront doesn't look doesn't look that busy on a Monday afternoon because again, some some people are, are at work and it's a weekday anyways. So it's good time good time for me. And look at that! What a great view of the, of Lake Ontario. It's amazing view of the Toronto Center Island. And just way off in the distance is Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. There it is. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. And I've actually and I've actually done a video at Harbourfront many times, especially during the uh, Tirgon Festival that took place back in mid July of this year. So that was during the summertime. Oh, and there is the there is the actual stage at Harbourfront Center. And that stage looks very empty. There is the Harbor Star Boat. Interesting. Here's the view of the CN Tower once again. The Canadian National Tower. Oh, and there's a plane that, that that's about to land at Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. Let's capture it. All right. Landing in action. And there he goes. It's landing at Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. <laughs> and 
on the left is the power plant. Oh, and I see an another plane that that's supposed to land at Billy Bishop Airport. I think it's coming from New York, if I'm not mistaken. Let's tour around here. I'll be heading north back towards Queensky West. So it's the CN Tower and the power plant. So that Empire Sandy boat that, that you guys just saw, that boat looked a bit similar to the boat from the from, from, from the Disney movie called Pocahontas. And I remember watching that movie when, when, when I was a kid. I think I was like 9 or 10 years old. So that was like 11 or 12 years ago. That, that, was, like a, that was like a really, really long time. And there is the Ontario Square. Alright, so, so so far it's been a fun tour around Hoverfront. Now I'll be making my way to Love Park. As I mentioned at the beginning of, at the beginning of my video. Because that's where I'll be ending my video and after that I'll be Hopping on the streetcar, either the 509 or the 510, I'll be heading to uh, Union Station. Oh, and there's the ice cream beer games. I think this place is closed. Or something. Anyways, we are back at Queens Key West and there is Lower, Lower Simcoe Street that begins north of Queensky West. Hmm, I don't think this I don't think this place is open. It, it used to be a very crowded ice cream store. But now, as you can see, it's empty. I don't see anybody inside. And they still got, and they still got those yellow, yellow, yellow uh, tables, benches, whatever you call them. <laughs> and there is the another five ten banana street car four five eight six. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 
Oh, and there's Pizza Pizza, there's Freshie, there's Popeyes. And there's even a Starbucks coffee just across the street on the, on the north side of Queensky West. Oh, and there's the Fauna Harborfront 4515. I believe, that, I, I, I believe that was the same streetcar I, I captured when, when I was heading eastbound. And now I was heading back westbound to the CNE. And I, and I remember taking that streetcar many times from, from Union to, to, to the CNE during the opening day event, and that was back in mid August. Alright, so now we're almost at Love Park, and that will be on the north northeast corner of Queens Key and York Street. So there is uh, York Street coming up, and again that begins north of Queens Key West, and it runs all the way north to Queens Street West. Why this guy is standing on the bike lane? Just want to get in their shot. Oh, and there is Beaver Tales, the Toronto Harbor Commission Commissioners. There's Pier 6. Alright, so Love Park is just to the north of Queensky West. So I'll be so I'll be crossing Queensky West and I'll be checking out Love Park. And after that I'll be editing my video. Well now it's been 28 minutes and three seconds. So, so far we've walked almost the entirety of Queens Key West, heading east from Lower Spadina to here. There's walk sign. And there's a look east along Queens Key West towards Bay Street, which is by Queens Key Station. And we have made it to Love Park. That opened, I think, back on June 23rd of 2023 because that, that was the day during the during the opening day of Love Park. Well, look at this. I don't see any any water. Just just the ground I see. Well, look at Love Park. Holy cow. The only thing I see is rocks. But no water. The last time I did a video of Love Park was back on September 30th. And back then they had lots of water, but now it's gone. <laughs> oh, so I'm so surprised. No wonder it's gone that, that fast. Well, 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 maybe it's because of the cold weather and just just for like, I think just to save the environment or something, if I'm not mistaken. And here's a look back at the intersection of York Street and Queens Key West. And as you can see, there is Beaver Tales Pier 6. Anyways, while I'm here at Love Park, I'll just do a quick tour before, before we end this video. And I've done videos of Love Park a few times. I remember, um, I, I remember back on Canada's Day. That was when that was when it was my first time uh, recording a walking video around Love Park. And then I and then I made I made my I made my way uh, east along Queen's Key to Bay Street by Queen's Key Station. 
So that was fun times too. And here is the intersection of York, of York Street and Harbor Street. And continuing north along York Street will take you all the way to Queen Street West because that's where uh, York Street comes to an end. And this is Harbor Street, just to, just to, just to north of here, and will lead you to Bay Street. So welcome to Love Park. It's a park full of love. Or I could say Love Park is is a is full of love and, and full of kisses too. <laughs> Imagine that. And I wonder how love, and I wonder how busy love park, love park would would be during Valentine's Day, because that would be even more crowded. And again, love park is not even that crowded. I mean, there's like a few a few people, but not a lot. So that's good. On a beautiful beautiful sunny day on a Monday afternoon. And there goes the Eastbound Streetcar that will make its way to Union Station. Maybe I'll tour around this side for now and then I'll, I'll come back to the actual Love Park. Oh, and there used to be benches here. But it got, but it got removed for, for some reason. There is Queens Key West. And there's a sign that, that says Love Park. And there is the Fauna Harbor Front number four four five zero. It's operating very slow. And why is this lady walking on the streetcar tracks? <laughs> Never seen that before. Wow, this this streetcar is operating very slow. It's going to make its way west all the way to the CNE, which is the exhibition place that serves the 929 Dufferin Express and the 29 Dufferin as well as the uh, 511 Bathurst streetcars too whoa that streetcar was honking at that lady because she was crossing on a red light that, that streetcar had a green light so maybe that's why the streetcar operator was, was very upset alright so Oh, and, and I just got, and I just got, a, got a battery notification that my that my DJI Awesome Pocket Two is at twenty percent. So I better end my video quick. I better end my, my video quickly before my my DJI Awesome Awesome Pocket Two camera dies. So I'll do a quick two around one, one last time. All right, back at Love Park. Maybe during Valentine's Day I might come back here, because during Valentine's Day I will. I, I have a feeling that Love Park would, would be even more busier than it was during Canada's Day, and especially during the opening day event of Love Park that opened back on June twenty third of. 2023 so that was like a few months ago that was like I think five or six months ago
we got top buildings here. Skyscrapers. But anyways, now it's been 36 minutes and 20 seconds, so I'm going to be ending this video. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And let me just flip, flip, flip the camera around. I hope everyone enjoyed the walk, where we started off at Queen, Queen's Key West and Lower Spadina Avenue, and, and we walked... Uh, east along Queen's Key from Lower Spadina and we checked out and we checked out Harborfront Center and uh, and we, we made our way all the way to Love Park so again I have an Instagram account at Sapan TTC Explorer and there's also a super thanks button below this video if you all wish to say to, to say thanks that way as well now now I'll flip the camera around So again, happy Monday afternoon. I hope I, ho I hope everyone has a great rest of your Monday afternoon. Enjoy this lovely sunny day. I recommend I, I, re I recommend everyone to you know you know you know to get out and to enjoy this lovely lovely sunshine. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. And I'll be hopping on the either the five ten span or the five minute front. I will be heading to uh, Union Station. And I'll be uh, and I'll be hopping on the subway online one and I'll be heading back home so once again have a great day and I will see you guys very soon and now it's been almost 38 minutes take care and bye bye and cheers adios